Hey, today's task is to install PFSense using the NanoPi Neo 256. All right, I have Pi KVM up. It's an older version, but it still works great. And what we're going to do is download the latest PFSense. We're going to select the DVD ISO. All right, that's done downloading. Let's open it up. Right click 7-zip and we're going to extract. There's our ISO. I'm going to click over here, open up a drive. We're going to select an image to upload. Go in here, select PFSense, and open it. It says waiting for upload. You got to click upload. And we'll allow this to upload. All right, it's uploaded. So we're going to go over and select the image. Here's PFSense. And now it's time to turn on the server. Now I'm going to go into the BIOS and uh, make some changes in there before I do any work. All right, as it boots, I'm going to hit F2. There we go. So this is a new server, so I have to go through and make some changes to the settings. Smart isn't probably going to be used with uh, PFSense, but I will want it on. I'm turning off the keyboard error detection so that way I can boot it headless. And we're going to continue on warnings and errors. All right. Now we're going to hit F12 and see if we can boot off the uh Pi KVM. I forgot to hit connect drive to server, so let's try this again. Connect drive to server. And what we're going to do is send a control alt delete to restart the server. Let's see if it'll show up now. I'm going to hit F12. There we go. Try this one. There's our PF Sense. We're going to click through these, and install, default, Disconnect to the drive, see if it boots.
All right, this is where I'm going to stop this video. Um, if you'd like to see me go through the configuration of PFSense, I'll be having uh, about three more videos for the hardware one and uh, one for when I set it up in a virtual machine.